In this activity, you will present students with a list or library of resources on a chosen topic. This list or library should all be presented equally. Do not separate peer-reviewed primary sources from news websites, social media, or organizational reports. It will be part of the student's job to separate and evaluate these various sources. After being presented with this evidence, it is the student's job to score or rank the evidence. There are many pieces to consider when doing this. First of these being to identify who gathered each evidence source, how they put the evidence together, and why they were motivated to present the evidence. Encourage your students to identify and separate hot and cold arguments within the sources. Hot arguments are focused on feelings, beliefs, and cultural or societal influences. These are the arguments that may tug at our heartstrings or get our blood boiling about a topic. Cold arguments, on the other hand, are based on scientific evidence. They may not get people as riled up, but they are also based less on opinions and emotions. The most compelling arguments generally do a good job of combining both ends of this spectrum, so teaching students to identify these arguments will help them better understand why certain stories or articles have certain effects on them. A final approach to evaluating evidence is to ask your students to use the CRAAP test. For each piece of evidence, ask them to assess how current and how relevant the evidence is to the topic at hand. They will next assess the authority of the source, the accuracy of the information, and the author's purpose or intention in creating the evidence piece. Once students have completed their evaluations, have a class debrief. Start by sharing which sources students identified as being the strongest. These should ideally be sources based on primary evidence that are well-sourced and timely to the topic at hand. Also be sure to save time to discuss which pieces of evidence students found the most compelling. You will likely find that these are not always the same as the strongest sources, and it is helpful to take some time to discuss how we can avoid being caught up in emotional appeals and by unsupported sources.